Hey guys, it's me, the Senile Simmer. Today we are doing the Island Living Rags to Riches Off the Grid Challenge Extreme Edition. And I think that might be the longest title of a challenge that I have ever done. We did this on a stream and so I've condensed that into, uh, broken it up into YouTube videos and I hope you enjoy. I would put the rules here, but if you've been here before, you know we changed the rules, but I will put a link to the original challenge in the description. What is she doing? Going to go barbecue in the, the she's like, oh, don't worry about it, Michael. I'll let you out. I'm just hungry. Um, did you even eat? No, you just found a bed. Did you, what did you do with the burgers you made? Girl, what even? Are they in your pants? You're very uncivilized. But that's where they are. Can we put them, where's the kitchen? Over here. Good, good, good. We'll just put those here. So we just have to let her live her life. How come Mike, didn't Michael have any money to his name? Because we spent our money to build that fence. Doesn't he have any money? This house and no money? You might want to cancel. Yeah, let's cancel all the services. We don't want people getting suspicious. Cancel the maid service. Mm -hmm. I had 10000 when I moved out. I, spot, I forgot to pay for the, the the things, so that means he had no money. I still owe 10000 for my travel documents. He's found a way to sleep. No, 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 no. You can't sleep. That is not for you. You're not allowed to sleep, good sir. How you doing? Not good, I hope. You gotta pee. You're getting hungry. Oh, we're getting royalty from his books. That's nice. I don't know what she's doing, but she's going to be showing pretty soon. But at least Gavin can be fooled into thinking it's his. This is actually better, because if we put him here, then we would have had to mop all these puddles and whatnot. She'll tend his garden. We don't want his garden to die. Um, let's uh, do a harvest all and tend garden. Does he have anything in his personal inventory? I do not know. Oh, he does have some stuff. Look at that. We'll just sell everything. Oh, he's drowning to death. Let's watch. Well, that didn't take long at all. He's a lightweight. He's like, I spent my whole life locked in a room. First woman I meet. <laughs> Look. Oh, so sad. Is she going to get sad? If so, I'm going to erase it because there's no reason for her to be sad. All right. Well, then, where is his... Um, doohickey, there it is. We'll just put that in her inventory for now. I think I ha might, uh, maybe put, uh, a little room downstairs or something to put it in. Poor Michael. Poor, poor Michael. Well then, you know what that means? We need to get rid of the evidence very quickly. So now we have our pool area. I think it's time to call Gavin to come on over. Um, and we'll, well, she's a little hungry. Then we can tell him the good news. It'll be great. Let's invite him over. Oh, it's one in the morning. I don't think we'll do that. We will get some leftovers. I feel, I do feel bad for Michael because he went through so much in that one tiny room. He finally builds up his beautiful estate and meets one woman his entire life. I just want a little room in the basement for Michael. I'm terrible. I mean, we'll just put him a little bit right here, right by his beloved pool. That seems right. And then his urn can go there. And, you know, she can tell a story about how she bought the house for a good deal because it was haunted. So if Michael comes out, okay, she's hungry still. Did we not feed her? Get leftovers. All right, so I think we've covered our tracks. We have a backstory to tell Gavin. Girl, you need, you need to hire a maid. Uh, scheduled maid. And... 
scheduled a gardener. Uh, it's two in the morning. Not a good time to call Gavin. We'll go to bed. Yeah, just a little thing about that ghost. She's not sad at all. Did you know? Oh, there it is. Wait. No, she's not. All right, it's in the morning. Let's call Gavin over. Go to the bathroom. She's hungry again. Good God. All right, he's like, hey, nice. is he just going to? He's sad. Why is he sad? I don't know. She's hungry. Is sad, but Gavin sad because of Katrina? Um, maybe. Hey, let me. I invite you to. Hey, I. I have to tell you something, honey. Very uncomfortable. I know you came in. and You need a makeover so bad. Look, it's yours. Oh, <gasps> you think he knows that it's not his? No, really. Hold hands. All right, there's a hug. Good. He's not very... It's negatives. What? I'm going to just um, ask... How's your day? I know. It's it's rough. Life, life is terrible. But we're going to have a baby. Elope immediately. You know, since we're having a baby and all, we should just... Um, we really should have changed. Oh, good. I was going to say, what are you doing? No. Elope in her underwear. Well, yeah. I was just going to say maybe they should change clothes. I want to see you in your formal wear, good sir. And I will also, oh, I don't know what her formal looks like. Where'd he go? Did he leave? He left. She's eating spoiled food. Didn't we get over that? Go to the bathroom. All right, let's play him and see what we can do. Then we can maybe have a better idea what's going on in his funny little head. Let's go be him for a minute. You are very sad. Yeah, it's because of her. It's only a few more minutes. I just got rid of it. You're not sad anymore. Go visit her. We are going to go knock on her door and apologize because we were just in a mood. Let me change my outfit. That's better. Now, do the elope. I could have bought her a better outfit. But. <laughs> yep, this is her wedding. That money better come over here or I'm going to be so mad. If he's found a way to squirrel his money away and give it to his ex-wife, or it's in the will that it goes to the baby. Yay! Finally, we will have a baby's room. If it's a boy or a girl, we have rooms. We have a separate bedroom over here for a butler. Give him a hug. Maybe he'll feel the baby now. Like, this is your baby. Sure. Remember that night we spent while I was um, on vacation in Solani? Yeah, remember that night? Well, this is what happens. And now I have to pee in my gold bathroom because it's mine. It's totally mine. I've owned this house for a long time. He needs a makeover. Gosh dang it, I can't be having him running around in sandals and knee socks. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna leave you, you, but your clothes. That is your classic look. We will leave that one. We will leave that one. Do you wear glasses? You do. I forgot. Athletic. I'm not mad at that. Sleepwear. Can you be sexier? Um, party outfit. Oh yeah, you're a partier. You are. Swimwear is fine. This is what I didn't like. Sure. That'll do. And then it's cold. What? So it was really just that one outfit. I'm not a big fan of those boots. Just saying. Can we get different boots that don't look like you're eight years old there you go that's better okay that's all i wanted to do with him i didn't want to change him much so now what do we do to win the lottery she has a mansion she has a man she has a baby on the way and as long as gavin is a good boy he will live a very happy life with her as long as he doesn't start digging into the past 
Right, she's hungry again. Good grief. Take a shower and then get some more food. Go sit down with your man and have a meal. Look at that. It's a beautiful little family they have. Great, I wonder what he has in his inventory, if anything. Um, Premiates don't usually come with a lot of inventory. Nothing, good. Does he have any skills? Not much. Level one is the best, oh, he has a three in writing. Okay. If he only knew, he would not be in that pool. Gavin is level two fitness now, see? You're already a better man than you ever were. What are you doing? Whee! Laying in the slip and slide. Good, 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 good. Um, when you get up, do a harvest all, and then do a tent garden. Because I don't know when the dude will get here. She's got to pee. Very much so. Oh, nope, she doesn't. It's a lie. She does not have to pee. I blame the pregnancy. She's very flirty. Let's woohoo our husband. Where is our... Oh, man. Dude, get up. You need to do me. She is now spoiled. You know, we don't know any of her history from before she was lost on that island. I mean, this... She could have been like this all along and just didn't have any outlet for it. You know? We don't know. Maybe she was evil. She is materialistic so i can see that would have a little bit about it like I, I i'm tired of living in a hut but now look at her living in a lap of luxury expecting her first baby go harvest all and tend garden all right and she's gonna pee herself again you know if the water breaks she should come have a baby i'm sorry pregnant I knew it. That's what it was. Her water broke. We're going to have a baby. She's dizzy and embarrassed. Gavin's gone to work, so it's too bad Gavin can't come with us. Whew, she said as she held off having the baby for as long as she could and sent him to work. It just worked out that way, so, you know, the Sims do a thing. I try to make it part of the story. Excuse me, lady having a baby here. Okay, we're gonna go have a baby now. It's a baby girl. Last name Richards, of course. <clears throat> what if we name her Michelle as a nod to who her father is? Can I mean can I name her Michelle? Michelle Richards. Sounds perfect. Call her Mish. Misha. You could go with Misha as her actual name. Because that is a derivative, I could say that that would be a derivative, you know, like that'll always in, um, what's her face's heart, she'll know why she named her Misha, named her after the, the father. One day maybe the child will learn the truth. We have Misha. Hope and Michael, nobody sees that, right? We need to get rid of the birth certificate. Where is the baby? This house is too big. Wait, oh, they put the baby in the boy's room. No, 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 no. The baby goes in the girl's room. Do you not know it's a girl? Jane, please. Yes, we're gonna be very sexist with colors. This is her room. It's really not big enough, but for now it'll be fine. I mean, we could always knock down the wall and, and expand this room when the child gets a little older. So we're going to feed the baby. We're going to bottle feed the baby because we don't want saggy boobies. I mean, it's too late for me, but she doesn't want them. And she's going to love this baby because part of her really loved Michael, but he kind of made her scorned. She wanted the money more than she wanted love. But now she has someone to love. Oh, look it. She loves the baby. Gavin, you should be working hard. Always. Okay, well, this is the end of Hope's story and the beginning of Misha's story. We continued Misha in a challenge called the Black Sheep Challenge, where Misha grew up into a precocious little girl, very spoiled, raised by her nanny while her parents were vacationing. She didn't lack for anything, 
but she also had no discipline, so she grew up very, very spoiled. One day, Misha and her parents had a falling out, and they decided maybe their childbearing had been wrong, and they sent her on her own to prove herself. Misha soon started her own family with a beautiful little girl. And she vowed she would not make the same mistakes as her mother made. But as her parents grew older, she moved in with them. There was a mysterious accident. Some say it was witchcraft. She resurrected Michael. She, her daughter, and her father went on to live very happy lives. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There are two new videos down below that you can watch. Leave a comment if you'd like. I usually do reply. Hit the like button to share it on your Twitter. I can be found on Twitter and also on Twitch. And above all, have a really great day. Bye-bye.